Welcome to our lesson on the continent boxes. One of my very favorite things about the Montessori curriculum is the emphasis on other cultures and other places in the world. In the, in the geography area, we show children where different countries are, and we're constantly talking about different cultures and what it's like in different countries, how there's different people all over the world. And so we wanted to show you a great way to explore different parts of the world with your children. Here is what you will need to create continent boxes. For our continent boxes, we just found seven wooden boxes at a craft store here in town. I did paint each one with the shape of the continent and the name of the continent so that the children would know which box is from which continent. And then you get to start to collect things. It's like a treasure. So you find different things. It's amazing what your local convenience stores have that look like they're from other countries. Every store around town has very cool dishes, samples of fabric or art, host of all kinds of other pictures. We have pictures of the people from Asia. And then one of my very favorite things is if you have anyone that you know that lives in another part of the world, they can send you postcards. I have a friend, Anne, who has lived all over the world and she loves to send my children postcards. So I've got several postcards in here from different parts of the world that Anne has sent to, ki to the kids with a little description of where she was in the world and what the postcard is a picture of. And then finally, you can do things like all the flags from other countries, what their currency looks like. I just printed these off, off the internet. And then a couple simple facts about Asia. Here is a sample of how you can present a continent box to your child. Let's get out the box on Asia. In Asia, some countries in Asia, you have different kinds of floor. They may not have carpet. They may have bamboo or wicker or straw. In many countries in Asia, they don't use silverware like forks and spoons and knives. They use something called chopsticks. In different countries, they have different looking dishes. This is from India. And this is a bowl they would use in China. And these are little wooden shoes like some women wear in Japan. They also have beautiful fabrics and tapestries. This is from Japan. And this bookmark is from India. Look at the beautiful silk threads and the beadwork that they've made. Also in different countries, the money looks different. Look at some of these coins. Some of them from China have a hole right in the middle of the coin. Some of the money has scalloped edges, which is very unique. Here are some pictures of what Asia looks like. Here's someone in a boat from Asia, from Vietnam. Here's some children in India. What's, what do you think's going on in this picture? And you can open up the conversation and start a conversation with your kids. Different animals also live on different continents. Here is a camel. There's each country and continent also has unique food to that country. Here is sushi. And here's another card with different types of food from Asia. Some of these pictures we got out of National Geographic. Here's a very beautiful picture of a village that's all on water. And here is the Great Wall of China. And you can talk a little bit about the Great Wall of China. Here's a young boy from India. And this is a picture of a place called the Taj Mahal. It was built by a man who was very much in love with his wife, and it was a tribute to his wife. 
Here's pictures of money from Asia and all flags from all different countries. You may want to take just small bits of this at first. At first you could talk about just the people of Asia and then on another date you could talk about the food. On, you could do a whole lesson just on the flags. Draw squares and they can color the flags from all over the world. So take it in small parts. And then obviously if you have postcards that friends have written, read the postcards, talk about where the person was. You could even get the map out of the world find out where this postcard was sent from and find it on the map children or on a globe children love to find you know where's waldo find it on the world where here she was in malaysia where is malaysia let's find it on the globe at my works we always want to show you other ways to use your materials to make them last and make them fun and give them new life for your kids so we want to show you one more thing you can do with your cultural boxes so what we have done to give this work new life is we have taken the things out of the North America box. Here's our North America continent box. And we've taken everything out of here from one country. This is a box that we found at a local hobby store and it is adorable. It looks just like a traveling trunk like you would take if you were traveling the world. So inside here we have taken all the things from Costa Rica and put them in this box. So after you've done the continent box and your children are looking for something new to do, you're going to put this box on the shelf. You can always change it. One week it can be Costa Rica and then when they start to learn all about Costa Rica and they're not getting this off the shelf as much anymore, you can change it to a new country. It always keeps the works interesting. So here is some pottery from Costa Rica. These are some stamps, some of the currency, and of course, all kinds of beautiful photographs of volcanoes, sea turtles, monkeys, lizards, all the animals that come from Costa Rica. If you have any books that you found that are on a child's level, and then it's always wonderful to have pictures of maps of the country. Where the cities are, how it's surrounded by water. And then we also have a card with just some simple facts. Just conversation starters if your children want to know more.